Can any of you name one selfish prayer Jesus ever prayed? One. In fact, the only time he would have been selfish, he still said, not my will, but yours be done. One selfish prayer. Today we pray, we pray many selfish prayers. God, give me anointing. Why? The whole aim is that you come to the top. My, my church grow. My, my this prosper. My that. If you raise Christians with that mindset, why would they not look like Satan or the world? Why would pastors not charge people to come and preach? Charging to come preach. Why would gospel musicians not charge people to come preach? And everyone, they've been trained to look out for themselves. They've been taught that the glory of self is the glory of the church or is the glory of God. So everyone is fighting. Meanwhile, if Yeshua taught us to be selfless, there is a wisdom in it. Since I cannot pray for myself, I pray for my brother. And since my brother cannot pray for himself, he prays for me. And then guess what? We are all covered by one another. The life of Christ is not speaking in tongues 12 hours. It is selflessness. If that agape, the root of your actions, if it's not agape, it is not valid before God. If it's not agape, it came from somewhere but not God. If it's not agape. So if we want to learn love, we look at the selflessness of Christ. Guess what? Our giving will no longer be strategic. Our forgiveness will no longer be strategic. Strategic forgiveness. Then forgive him so that because of what people will say. Yes, it's selfless. It's selfless. There are some things I do, do for people and then they'll do something and I'll be complaining and the Lord will tell me. He said, didn't you do it in my name? In my name. That means in my nature. You did that. That is where it is counted for godliness. You forgive a person in his nature. You take insult for another in his nature. Your selflessness is in his nature. People will use you because they know you are selfless. In his nature. They will come and ask of you. I say, give us your tunic. He said, give them your coat in my nature. In his nature. Selflessness is the key. Because we needed to investigate what is the life of Christ. Selflessness. There's no selfishness there. Selflessness. To go beyond my life. What does it mean to live for Christ? Is to live beyond yourself. Deny yourself. He said. To follow me, deny yourself. Because I've also denied myself for you. Who do you deny yourself for? Is it for Christ? No, it's for your brother. You deny self for your brother. Because he has commanded. He said, love one another. He said, if you love me, keep my commandment. What's my commandment? Love your brother. Love one another. Deny yourself. Deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow me. Selflessness is the, is the secret of true Christianity. Selflessness. So the more selfless we are, the more like Christ we are. Okay, but what about if my brother offend me? Don't tell. Selflessness. Okay, but there's no, if you say his love is boundless towards you, your love should be boundless towards your brother. It is the simple things that will take a lot of people to hell. The simple things that we thought that they've always been Christians, and Christ would say, I didn't, I don't know you. When I was in prison, I didn't see you there. When I was naked, you didn't clothe me. Yet they thought it was the anointing that was shaking the nation. That's the one Jesus will look at. Do you think Jesus is impressed by anybody's anointing? Have you ever seen one apostle that Jesus said, Oh, my servant, thou art highly anointed? This is your anointing, I've never seen it before. Yes, he is the anointing himself upon the church. Christ is the anointing upon the church. But guess what Satan did to enslave us? Satan called the life of love weakness. And called the life of 
of self strength. So if a person apologizes, he's weak. You see? You see? That's what it was right. But if you keep malice, God will say this man is a fighter. <laughs> this is a leader. Leading you to hell. This is a leader. You want to know a Christian, look for a selfless man. A selfless woman. He has only 500 Naira and he knows his brother is hungry. He's willing to give the brother that 500 and take the brother's hunger. The same way Jesus gave him life and took his own debt. That's selflessness. Until we get to that point. And do you know what the height of that point is? Lay down your life for your friend. So guess what? We are all still growing in love. So it's a sign that we are still growing in Christ. Even the big geo is growing in Christ. Oh, yes. hey, let something happen now. He will be on the first private jet out of the country. He will save his life. So when I see the standards of God, I begin to pray for my life. Because I know that although power is working, we still have a long way to go in love. The life of Christ. Woe to a church who undermines the true life that saved us. Anointing did not save us. Do you know? Anointing did not save us. They came and said, you anointing, in your name I prophesied. In your name I cast out demons. Thinking that before the Savior, there is any other salvation. Before the Savior, you are bringing another type of salvation. But accept me by my works. We did many great things. Oh Lord, didn't you see the 100,000 capacity we just completed? It's a life of selflessness. You want to know who a Christian is, not the one that's holding Bible. He can hold Bible and not know that life. He can quote Bible and not know that life. But there's one who doesn't, he's not holding Bible, but he's living the life that is prescribed there. He's living the life. Sometimes the way you win your brothers, is to forgive them the much they've committed. He said, he that's forgiving the much, we love the much. When they come to ask for forgiveness, that is. So it's a life. So who are the mature among us? The mature are those who have been able to know that life, exemplify that life, and teach that life. So I leave you with this. You've always heard that Jesus fulfilled all the laws and the prophet. How did he fulfill it? He knew a secret that the others did not know. Their new sacrifice, he fulfilled the true love. He knew love. So he said, the submission of the laws and the prophet is to love God, love your neighbor. He knew that secret. That's the secret. God is not as interested in your praying every 4 a.m. as you're living the life of love. Your 30 minutes prayer, the 30 minutes prayer of a man in love is stronger than the 20 hours prayer of a selfish anointed man. The 30 minutes prayer of a true lover of God and mankind. He loves mankind. He has ascended into guruhood, masterhood. Because of love. Love has consumed his heart. Love. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. People are crying. Love make him cry with them. People are rejoicing. Love make him rejoice with them. A brother is promoted. Love make him rejoice with that brother. Not wishing that. Uh, 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 why, why, why is it only that brother? Why is it only that sister? Love. Love. See, love doesn't think of himself. Love will say me, I don't deserve this. It's better that it's him than me. You know the prize that was set before him? The prize that through him, others will be glorified. He received power, not for himself. Do you know? Do you know? Yeshua was never selfish. He received power for those who believe in him. That's why God exalted him. Oh my God. Faith is powerful. This is powerful. Hope is powerful. But love, it is love that gave hope. Love that gave faith. Love that gave power. Love that gave spirit. All, everything is inside love. Anything standing apart from love is not from God. Anything standing apart. He said God is what? 
So what is there that is standing apart from love? God, if you say God is love, God is light. There were a few things the Bible called God. Say God is love. A man that cannot love does not know God. The Bible says it clearly. And just in case you don't know the type of love he's talking about, he's talking about the love exemplified by the master whose height is self-sacrifice for the sake of another. Meanwhile, do you know that the human nature is so terrible that you can actually self-sacrifice for yourself? You can give your body to be burnt and yet you don't have love. It's to make a name for yourself. So guess what? You are a prophet of love. You are a pastor of love. You are a preacher of love. Because if God is love, it means I'm a psalmist of love. What is the gospel? Love. So the truth of the gospel, Yeshua's coming, death, um, resurrection is actually Yeshua's love. For God, so love. That's how you sum the gospel. It's the gospel of love. In love, a man came, sacrificed himself, and God restored him back to life. Because love does not die. Love will not be allowed to die. Love cannot be allowed to die. So even when love lost his life, it gained it back. Except you want to practice on that religion. If it's Christianity, it's, it's anchored on selflessness. Why is it that they're always insulting us, Christians, they're killing us, we cannot do anything, we are selfless. It's not because we cannot do anything. The cross has paralyzed us. Yes. Slap us, we still love you. Love is not partnering with sin. So if we say, oh, love, oh, but uh, lo love is not partnering with iniquity. Love is exposing iniquity and bearing the consequence for that exposition. Love is loving the sinner enough to tell the sinner that his sins will destroy him. That's love. Love is also not emotional. Love is action based. What is the aim of this action ultimately? So on that day it was prophet Micaiah that loved the king. Because he told the king the truth that if the king had only heard, his life would have been spared. But because the king did not like the person speaking the truth, and the king did not like the truth the person was speaking, the king disordered it. The same way a lot of sinners, that we hate the people that truly love them because of their messages, and love the people that hate them because they flatter them. Yes. The Bible says, "There that do wickedly against the covenant shall what? Shall he corrupt." By flatteries. True power in his kingdom is service. And the secret of that service is love. Secret of that service is love. The secret of power is love. A love for God and man that God will give you by illumination. So many people go to the mountain selfishly pray selfishly fast selfishly 